Hi, I'm Virginia Toledo. And I'm Jessica Geller of Toledo Geller Interiors. Welcome back for part two of our Modern Country Farmhouse Reveal. When we met you last, we were in the guest cottage of this estate where we had renovated and redecorated the guest house in preparation for the big renovation that was going to happen in the main house. Fast forward about six months and we've now completed the renovation of the main house. The house is located in Greenwich, Connecticut and it is just the most scenic area. The property itself is absolutely divine. There's the most beautiful winding streets and roads and with the best names too sure. like creamery <laughs> <laughs> yeah our clients came from new york city so they have a certain refined elegance to them and we wanted to merge that with this country home. So we sort of ran with that idea and started taking a closer look at the house and having conversations with our client about the details that they felt were just sort of superfluous, a little unnecessary to ornate. Uh, one was the staircase railing, all of the banisters, balustrades, posts, that was all cleaned up and done in a much uh, simpler way. We removed a lot of the 1990s chair rail <laughs> that graced many of the walls here and just drove our clients crazy. Um, some maybe two country elements like a log that served as the mantle at the fireplace that they couldn't wait for us to rip out of the wall. We really love getting into our clients' heads and learning about how they live. And one thing that they told us when we first met them is that they rarely ever use the room in the front of the house, which is set up as a living room or a family room. It became very clear that there was a separation between the kitchen space and the living space. And so in order to access it, they had to meander around the entire home, basically. Mm -hmm. And just as a family with young children, it wasn't that practical. So they had a large pantry, walk-in size, but because they eat very fresh and don't use a lot of foods with preservatives. They only aspire to live and eat as healthy amazing. as they do. Yeah. So we knew that they didn't need quite as large of a pantry. That wouldn't work for every client, but because this is really unique yeah. to their home, it worked really well for them. So we broke through that pantry. We created an entryway into the living space from the kitchen, and it's now separated by a smaller pantry and a breakfast bar, coffee, tea station. Tea station. We were so fortunate to be able to use a fabric that we really loved and had intended for the guest cottage. And so at our presentation, we had it out on, sort of on the side there as a backup. And, and our client fell in love with yeah. it and said, I want to use this, but not in a small way here. I want to use it in a big way in our main house. The previous homeowners had intended to use the space that we are now using as a master suite as such, but it really didn't feel like a primary bedroom. And because of that, our clients weren't using it that way. There was the um, paneling on the walls, Tons there was a it. lot of molding on the ceiling, creating a coffered ceiling, so it really had more of a den. living space feel. Yeah. Like a den or another family room, which that, that they didn't need, actually. And on top of that, there was um, access to the backyard from it. And right. instead of feeling like a sprawling, really um, enchanting access to the backyard, mm -hmm. it felt like a back door. It had two walk-in closets and it had a generous sized bathroom with tub and double sink and whatnot, but the flow just wasn't there. And so when you walk into the primary suite now, you enter into this vestibule, which was one of the former walk-in closets right. that had a transom window and we took that transom window we blew, blew it, it out, out. <laughs> from top to bottom and we went as large as we could with a huge uh, fixed window, picture window, that now exposes you to this incredible rock wall and the gardens so on this. Beautiful. And so with that, we expanded the footprint of the primary bathroom um, and, was, and we were able to give them a soaking tub now in addition to a very large freestanding uh, shower. Part of the kitchen was also modified in order to make that happen. So they had the peninsula in the kitchen and we had to close off the area where that was, turn the peninsula into an island and change the door location into the master bedroom. And just by eliminating the peninsula and replacing it with the island, you were no longer trapped within the kitchen when you got in there and now there's a really nice circulation. 
We were really excited about the finishes that we used in this kitchen. We wanted to go with something that felt a little bit moodier, warmer, so we have this really rich green color that's almost black, yep. um, which is also an element repeated from the guest house. We wanted to use a beautiful stone called Pietra Cardoza that we absolutely love. It has a beautiful hand to it, really mm -hmm. soft, feels like it's been here forever. We wanted them to be able to display all of their fresh fruits and vegetables and all of the amazing pottery and china that they have. It all has this really um, nice hand vintage quality to it. So instead of lining the walls with closed cabinetry, we opted for shelves made out of the same Pietra Cardoza stone to run almost the entire length of the kitchen. And another huge element is that we blew out the kitchen window, so we made it much larger. We enhanced the whole space with lighting. The living space here is really an open flow. You see right from the front door all the way back through the living space onto the dining room and you get a peek into the kitchen. But we really didn't want it to feel like it was just one massive space. So we took a lot of care in delineating each zone. So when we first walk in, we have, we're have greeted by this beautiful Dutch door, which mm -hmm. is just, how could you not? I know, it's so happy. And we have the client's own wood table that we put here that they've had for years. We're using it as a sort of like an entry hall table, but we also envision as the kids get older, this can be a great arts and crafts spot, really thinking about the flexibility of the space. So this was able to really feel a little bit more intimate and cozy, mm -hmm. someplace that you can sit and enjoy the fire, watch some TV, you're right off of all of the main living spaces. Right, and with that, open space, we have this dining area. Previously, there was a banquette in this space that theoretically seems to make a lot of sense, gets it the best use of um, the space, is space saving, etc. cetera, uh, but our clients just didn't find it useful for them. We did something that we've never done, which was rip out a banquette because we are <laughs> like the banquette queens. We, everyone gets a banquette. You get a banquette, you, you get, get a banquette. banquette. <laughs> And we ripped out a banquette. I mean, we were doing things here that we've never done before. No wallpaper, no banquette. But this really was the right solution. And so what we did instead was use a round table that uh, helped with circulation and whatnot. But more importantly, is we took those small windows and similar to what we did in the primary suite, we increased the size of those windows and went floor to ceiling essentially in end to end. And now it almost feels as if you're sitting outside when yeah. you're at this dining uh, table. So you see right through to the, to the gardens and have this beautiful outdoor experience. Yeah, it's really romantic and it also helps when we talk a lot about um, entertaining and casual versus formal entertaining. And this is a space that can go either way. You can have Sunday breakfast here or you can have a really nice dinner That's here. Right. Thanks for joining us on this project tour. We have lots more to share, so make sure to follow us on social media at Toledo Geller, and we'll see you there.